Let's play... Citizens of Space! You may be familiar with Citizens of Earth, but now we're in the future. The future of that very series. Oh, look at this. Ah, I'm finally here. The Galactic Federation. Oh, smell that sweet interplanetary diplomacy. <laughs> oh, look at... Look at his face. It just appears to be stapled. Oh, that looks uncomfortable. All right. I've waited for this moment my whole life. This is my chance to make a name for myself, to put my charisma and rugged charm to the ultimate test. The chance to represent Earth on the biggest stage of all. The chance to... You be forgetting the chance to pay your fare. Oh, we have the captain. Must we pay? We are the ambassador. Quite right. That'll be 75 pieces of eight, chap. <laughs> 75! <laughs> <laughs> nice parrot. Don't you mean galactic credits? Besides, I thought ambassadors rode free. Why? And what planet be ye representing, matey? The planet Earth, of course. You mean to imply you're the ambassador from Earth? <laughs> you? <laughs> <laughs> you must forgive me for that. I try to control it. I truly do. Well, I'm technically not the ambassador yet. I'm here for my swearing-in ceremony. Hmm. If ye haven't been inducted, ye pay your fare like all the other build rats. <laughs> Hand over the booty! I see the terminology has not updated since the 1800s. Aye, aye, Captain. Now off with ye. I have poop decks to be swabbing. Right. As I was saying, this is my big break. Finally, I'll be... There you are, sir. <laughs> and that is our assistant. Ah, my first fan. Are you from Earth too, little buddy? I... well, I am, but... <gasps> And you came all this way for my swearing in. This will be the largest inauguration crowd <laughs> since, well, since ever. I'm touched. Sir. Please, there's no need for formalities. Just call me. Sir, I am not your fan. Then what are you doing here? I'm your new assistant. Uh, well, an assistant's just a fan who gets paid. So I was basically right. <laughs> you know, you may look very different from the Vice President of Earth. But, yeah, I think he's acting exactly the same. Moving on. You have a very busy day ahead of you, sir. But of course. I'm sure the assembly is eagerly awaiting my inaugural address. Indeed. I'm not sure eager is the right word. They slotted it in during one of their scheduled bathroom breaks. <laughs> Wonderful! Bathrooms are known for their acoustics after all. Oh, so we're the optimistic type. Oh, you'll love this. There was this one time I was rehearsing a speech in the shower for my rubber ducky entourage, <laughs> when suddenly... Um, I'd love to stick around and listen to your bathroom stories, sir, but I should really go get everything ready for your address. By the way, I picked up your ambassador ID badge for you. If you could just sign here. Seriously, that's your name? Yes. I think I'll just stick to calling you sir. Anyway, feel free to explore the station if you want, and come to the assembly when you're in the mood to orate. Um. Now, if we do take the time to explore the station, as he suggests, it is a bit disconcerting as our assistant, who has clearly left, just kind of teleports into conversations. So I think we're going to skip most of the exploration. Let's talk to this friendly alien here. Hello, sir. Please present your identification. Alien? I mean, Neutralian! Why, I'm the ambassador of Earth! Hmm, I am unfamiliar with this Earth you speak of. How can that be? And besides, it's called Earth. Yes, please get it right. It's a wonderful planet, full of wonder. Yes, yes. Of course it is, sir. Please hold while I peruse your identification. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know this, Earths. Please proceed to the assembly for further examination. And so unlike all of the other times, I will be heading towards the assembly. Once Until next time!
We come oh. in peace. <laughs> Once we are done with that bit of story, then I will be heading around town and we'll meet many of our potential recruits. Recruiting in this game seems to work very much like Citizens of Earth. And so you can see you just go around either side and go north. Let's go ahead and just explain a couple of things. We talked about recruits here. Now, if you're a fan of the Citizens games, you'll look at this screen and think there aren't that many recruits to have. But it seems that they have split up your recruits in this game. You have battle recruits. I assume, I do not know for I've not experienced, these are the recruits that will join you in battle. You have partner recruits and we can see our assistant lies here. And then we have summon recruits. Now, as of yet, we've only met the first two types. Even had we met others, because we haven't battled and we haven't recruited any, I have no idea how this is going to work. But I'll tell you, it reminds me of a similar system to Suikoden. Less characters, for they don't have the 108 stars of destiny. But in Suikoden, you would receive battle companions and support companions. And so in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm excited so far. We've collected our olive oh. branch. Oh, the majestic symbol of the Galactic Federation. Now, as we continue to play, I may talk about the Citizens of Earth game. I do want to stress one thing. After we talk to the Neutralian, the royal planet Earth is the latest world to be admitted in the Galactic Federation, which would make you the very first ambassador, I suppose. I suppose I should talk more like them. Can't say that you seem all that impressive. Your species seem to have stumpy arms and too much vibrancy around you. To me, you're probably decent enough. Welcome to the Galactic Federation. Thanks! What a nice warm reception! Now something to note, there will be a quest here that will have a Neutralian appear here later. For now though, let's go ahead and enter. Now that we're here, let's find out a little bit of history. The Galactic Federation was established in the year 2046 to use the reference system of your Earth years. In fact, it happened not too long after the Vice President of your world saved the aliens who crash landed there. I suppose in a sense, Earth played a role in establishing the Galactic Federation. We still only let you guys in recently, though. Yes. Well, to be fair, we weren't exactly spacefaring then. Would you like to rest? No. I want to point out... The reflections on this game are kind of cool. I'm enjoying them. Let's pick Shiny. that up. Legal document. The trash can has eyes. And it does not look amused. I would not look amused either. Manager. I'm sorry, but I've got no time for interruptions. If this project proposal isn't perfect, I can kiss the license for my next resort, Bon Voyage. Here's hoping your next resort isn't your last. I'm overdue for a little ambassadorial R&R &R myself. Why, yes, of course. You certainly should come to Tropicul and pay us a visit, Mr. Ambassador. We have all of the amenities you can imagine, and some you've yet to dream of. Ahem. <clears throat> For the right price, of course. Tropicul, huh? Alright. Hmm. Assembly in session. Please do not disturb the proceedings. 
Everybody's waiting for you, Mr. Ambassador. Are you ready for your speech? I am! Ready? Ha! <laughs> I was born ready! Well, actually, I was born a few weeks late. And for some reason, I started coming out butt first, so the doctors had to rotate me and... The speech, sir. The speech? Let's get in there. And this is the first part of our Let's Play Episode Zero. If you want to catch the rest, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and remember... An ambassador never forgets to save. I'm Nidanoski. As always, have fun.